Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I posted a video and I am excited to unbox this Erin Condren planner. It's hard to believe that we have entered into the end of the year whenever we get into the ember months, September, October, November, December. I consider that the latter part of the year. So it's time now to start thinking about 2025 planners. I purchased this from Erin Condren, as you could probably tell from the logo aesthetics of this sticker. I purchased this when it was released. Um, and I'll leave all the details down in the description box below. And ironically, I just missed the sale <laughs> for the end of the season or the end of the um, year sale or summer sale. I think it was during the summer. I did get this planner customized. It has my name on it. And I believe I started it for the month of September. This is their academic planner. I opted for this particular planner because I am in school. If you have been following me for a while, either here on YouTube or on my blog, you already know I am getting my doctorate. And this is actually my senior year or my last year. And I am so excited. So I waited to the very end to get a academic planner, but that's okay. It's going to help me navigate writing my dissertation, completing my teaching certificate, as well as my um, competitions or presentations where I will share my research. It'll also help me as I plan out where I'm gonna publish my research. But before we dive too far into this video, I wanna welcome anyone that is a new subscriber. Hey there, welcome. My name is Debronetta and I love all things planning. Here on my channel, I share pieces of my life with the hope of helping you to balance, grow, and succeed in yours. This video is probably gonna be a little bit short. I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. I will get it set up for my academic to-dos in another video when I have a little bit more time to sit down with my laptop, to sit down with my notes and things from my advisor, also to look at some of my travel schedule. So I will do that in another video, but I am looking forward to using this planner. Again, it starts in the month of September. I've already had my first residency. It was actually, oops, sorry. It was actually in August. So one of my seven remaining residencies is complete. So I'll go in and be a little bit retroactive when it comes to writing down any notes or to-dos, probably on this blank piece of paper that I have left over from the month of August. Here's where I can put my class schedule. My class schedule is pretty simple at the doctoral level, but I could see this being extremely helpful for someone who is in undergrad or graduate school. I like the design of this particular planner. I think the color patterns are really pretty. As with most Erin Condren planners, you have the quotes in the dividers. Again, this one starts in the month of September. I have a lot going on in September. I'm actually traveling for school. And then I also have my residency. One of the things I don't share a whole lot on my channel is that I do travel for school. I am an out-of-state student. I live in one state and I fly in for my residencies. I have been doing that for the past two years. So this will be year three, like I said before. And it's it's... It's quite taxing at times. I think I've gotten used to it by now. And it's still a lot. I think because the residencies are typically short in person and then you have a lot of coursework in between residencies, a lot of reading, a lot of projects. So this will come in handy so I can check off when things are completed. So here is the daily portion of this particular planner. Again, my workload for school can be managed probably on the main calendar piece alone. So this will become a pseudo catch-all planner. Yes, I totally made that up. But a catch-all planner is when you use one planner to catch everything that you need to get done in your life. So I call this a pseudo catch-all planner because I'll find something to incorporate with my school schedule probably some um, long-term business planning or teaching planning or something related to this doctoral journey. 
I do see myself leveraging my research to create courses. My dissertation is centered around leadership. So I could see myself building that out even further, doing more research in the area of leadership and then also in business. So I have a technology angle to it. I won't nerd out on you guys and go through my dissertation, but I could see myself really leveraging that for consulting projects as well as um, coaching projects. The planner is pretty hefty, as you can see. I don't know if I opted for additional pages in between, so let's look and see if I did. Nope, it runs September to September. And oh, I do have some additional note sections. So this will come in handy. I'll take it with me to class. It's one more thing that I'll have to pack. <laughs> But I'll take this with me to class and I'll take any, you know, notes. I won't be able to take notes from my entire lecture for the residency, but I can take some high level notes, some other to do's. Like I said, I'll put some travel in here as I travel more for school. Also jot down some ideas in terms of building out the material that accompanies my dissertation. Interestingly enough, I finished my last residency in the month of April. This quote is so fitting, courage over fear. I was scared, y'all, to go back to school. I'm a mom of three, and I was terrified to embark upon this journey, but I did it anyway. So if you could take any bit of encouragement from this planner video, I would say go after your dreams. Focus on being courageous and not being fearful. I am scheduled to graduate in May 2025. I've already submitted for graduation. It's a little bit different in my program. There's a lot of things that have to be triggered in terms of um, reviewing my dissertation, getting it uploaded for publication so that I can officially become a doctor. So I am slated to graduate in May. I've already taken care of the first tier of administration or administrative, excuse me, pro um, process for that. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. Look, I'm getting tripped up over my, my words, but <laughs> May 2025 is graduation. So this planner technically will end in May 2025 as it relates to school, but going into June, I do plan to celebrate graduation with a trip. So I will probably add some travel planning related to that into this spread as well, but that will be in the month of June. From July onward, I'm sure I'll find a good use for this planner. I do enjoy the Erin Condren planners. I have a promo code down in the description of this video. Make sure that you go check it out if you've never purchased an Erin Condren planner. Just to close us out, there's some additional notes pages in the back of the planner after the month of September. I'll probably use this as I strategize on how in the world, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to pay off my student loan debt. Yeah, it's a thing. So I'll probably put some budget things in the back. Just for kicks, I may tally up how much I spent on travel to uh, to accomplish this, to get this degree, even though it'll probably make me cry profusely, but I may use the back for just the financial planning aspect of this journey. And of course, we have a few stickers in the back. This will come in handy. Here's a little bit about Erin Condren and the company, rather, not necessarily Erin, but the company. And you'll get a dry erase section in the back that you can write on. I'll probably do a little vision board in the back as I kick off this planner. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know if you are in school, if you're a mom who has embarked upon a back-to-school journey, or if you're a college student, let me know what life looks like for you in terms of the academic arena. And I will speak to you in the next video. Happy planning, y'all.